third annual Aaron's 312 NASCAR Nationwide Series race. And uh, coming in third today was Regan Smith, and he drives the number seven, Ragu Chevrolet for JR Motorsports. Uh, third place finish today uh, for uh, Regan. Regan, now you're three points out of the points lead. Uh, looked like you were, you know, battling up there, obviously, for the lead. And uh, just talk to, talk to us a little bit about how you thought things unfolded out there and went for you today in the, uh, in the race. Uh, yeah, we had a we had a strong Ragu Chevy, and uh, you know, just made one bad move towards the end. I think it was probably 12 laps to go. Um, I went to the tried to get to the outside in front of the nine car, and and he had too much of a run. I made my move too late, and and got choked down there, and uh, went through the middle. Um, you know, maybe it's a blessing in disguise that I was able to get in the the proper position for the next restart, which got us back up to fourth. But uh, nonetheless, uh, you know. Worked hard all day, just couldn't really, other than shoving the 60 or bump drafting them or whatever we call it now, uh, you know, I couldn't do too much. There was a couple times where I couldn't even tell if I was hooked to his bumper or not, so I had to check the brake pedal, and, and I wasn't. And, you know, that, that's just enough to slow your momentum down. If I could have ever got him clear, then, then maybe I could have tried to make my move. But, uh, uh, you know, proud of the team for the for the cars they keep bringing. Disappointed we couldn't keep the uh, Junior Motors junior Motorsports win streak alive, but, uh, you know, there's a lot of races left. Questions for Reagan. If you have one, raise your hand. All the way in the back, please. Uh, Reagan, you guys look like you are pretty much really close to the point where it's almost tandem drafting. When you guys are coming down to the finish like that, do you all have the, the mentality that we're coming to the win and we just got to do everything that we can to win? Or you know, are, are you all worried about getting the black flag? Uh, yeah, you're worried about it. I mean tandem draft and bump draft and I, I don't know what it really is i mean there's there's times cars go past you and you look and they're hooked and then there's you know there's times where guys are just bumping and you can tell they're bumping so i you know that line is very vague and it's it's tough for us as drivers to to understand that line um you know obviously what we did today was fine i didn't hear of anybody getting penalized for it so you know so what we were doing at the end was okay uh, like i said there was there was a point where in the last two laps, or I couldn't even tell if I was hooked to the to the six car, and I, I had to check my brake pedal to make sure that I wasn't. And and you know something that simple can can break your momentum, but uh, you know the product that's out there is is good. It's the racing's good. You race hard. It comes down to the end. You know I think we're we understand what the difference between a bunt draft and a push is. It's just tough to tell when you're going to go over that line.